New Grub Street is a novel penned by British author George Gissing in 1891. Drawing from his own struggles as an emerging writer, the narrative sheds light on the harsh realities of the literary world, particularly the realm of hack literature, characterized by meager pay and subpar quality. The title alludes to London's Grub Street, historically known for its abundance of hack writers and publishers. The plot revolves around two contrasting figures, Edwin Reardon, a talented but underemployed novelist who sees writing as a means of self-expression, and Jasper Milvane, a pragmatic journalist driven by financial gain and fame. Their differing perspectives highlight the complexities of Victorian writers' relationship with capitalism, which often stifled their creative freedom. Milvane embodies the contemporary youth, driven by material success in his pursuit of writing. He anticipates the grind of catering to disliked editors and producing content for publications he holds little passion for. Reardon, on the other hand, views writing as a calling rather than merely a profession, favoring substantial works like novels and resisting societal pressures to conform. However, Reardon's refusal to compromise his artistic integrity leads him into poverty, straining his marriage to Amy Yule. Amy, influenced by her family's financial concerns, ultimately leaves Reardon, fearing their descent into destitution due to his inability to conform to industry standards. The novel also explores Amy's family dynamics, introducing her uncles, the critic Alfred and the wealthy yet physically impaired John, providing further depth to the narrative's examination of societal pressures and personal sacrifice in pursuit of artistic fulfillment. Alfred Yule's daughter, Marion, serves as his research assistant. Marion, characterized by her curiosity, kindness, plain appearance, and modesty, remains largely unnoticed in the contemporary society, rendering her a somewhat tragic figure. By chance, Marion befriends the sisters of Milvane, following their mother's demise and subsequent relocation to London. Through this connection, Marion encounters Milvane and develops feelings for him. Milvane admires Marion for her boldness, adventurous spirit, and intellectual curiosity. However, his obsession with wealth prevents him from considering marriage with her. He rejects her advances, aspiring instead to wed a wealthy woman capable of advancing his career. He rationalizes his stance by dismissing the sanctity and allure of romance and marriage, viewing them as shackles imposed by traditional and economic conventions. Milvane's attitude towards marriage shifts when John Yule bequeaths a substantial inheritance to Marion. Yet, their engagement proves detrimental to Milvane's career when his employer at the current, editor Clement Fadge, objects due to a past dispute with Marion's father. Alfred, in turn, opposes the union, leading to financial complications when Marion's inheritance dwindles due to her father's failing health and mounting medical expenses. Forced to support her ailing father, Marion's inheritance diminishes significantly. Milvane swiftly redirects his attention towards Amy Yule as a potential spouse. Meanwhile, Edwin Reardon passes away impoverished after a prolonged illness, reconciling with his wife before his demise. Milvane discovers that Amy inherits double the amount initially allocated to Marion from John Yule. Additionally, Amy's wealth, beauty, and charm enhance her social standing, appealing to Milvane as valuable assets for networking. The narrative concludes with a subtle suggestion that Milvane's marriage brings him contentment, though the narrator refrains from definitively affirming this happiness. Instead, the narrator implies that Milvane is haunted by the regret of prioritizing wealth over Marion's love, emphasizing the inadequacy of money to provide true fulfillment compared to genuine affection. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.